What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So we have breaking news. Jimbo, Jim Ryan, Lion, J Lion crying, Jim Ryan. Can't forget the crying. Uh, President and CEO of SIE is retiring from Sony after 30 years. Damn near my whole life. I'm 33, so he's been at PlayStation um, almost as long as I've been alive. Only three years of, of separation there. So this blog at the Sony site says, as you will have seen today in the news, I have announced my retirement after nearly 30 years at Sony Interactive Entertainment. I did not take this decision lightly, and I absolutely love SIE and our community, but, but, of, but of late, I've been finding it increasingly difficult to strike the right balance between my home in the UK and my job in the United States. As mentioned in the press release, I will continue my role as president and CEO until March 2024, effective April 1st, 2024. Hiroki Totoki will be appointed interim CEO of SIE while he continues his role at Sony Group Corporation. So this is interesting. Um, I think this is exciting, but not for the same reason that other people will probably say it's exciting, um, because I, I think... Listen, personally, the meat has been this irrational like hate for Jim Ryan, and I personally don't understand it. If we judge these executives of uh, and head of gaming corporations and companies based on what's released, based on the, the content and the games and the titles they release, then objectively, I don't really know how you could say Jim Ryan did a bad job um, based on the output. And he, I think he only he was only. Um, head for like three or four years so this is a pretty short time but he's been at sony for 30 years so based on the last three years and the games that have been released i don't know how you could say he's done a bad job that's from a consumer standpoint the you know the output of games and the the acquisition of studios because during the ps3 and ps4 gen they shut down a, a good number of studios and he's grown it since then and released good games and i also think that putting games on pc was also a good thing so just the things he did i don't under i personally don't understand the hate um but i think think it's exciting uh because one of the things that you definitely can criticize jim ryan for is the lack of communication as as towards um what's coming in the next year, two, three years, because it, because it did seem to be his intentional strategy that we are going to keep things very close to the vest and we're not going to announce things until it, until it's literally ready seemingly in the next, I don't know, six to 12 months. And people didn't like that. I'm not necessarily a fan of it either. I felt like there was a middle ground where, listen, don't announce things that are three years out, but you don't got to wait till it's, a year out either, right? I feel like that in between time is the sweet spot. Um, so that's the one thing I think you can criticize Jim Ryan for, but like the hate, I think a lot of people don't like that. Also don't like that. He was not like this personable uh, person or like he wasn't like this likable personality, like for ex like other executives at PlayStation, like a Jack Trenton or Andrew house or sh people love Sean Layden. Um, but to me, I didn't care about that type of stuff. I only cared about the games that you released under your, your time there. So that's all that mattered to me. Um, but it'll be interesting to see uh, who the actual, actual appointed uh, you know, CEO, what his strategies and um, what his tactics are moving forward. Because there, it, with any leadership change, there will, there will be change that affects the brand that could be good that could be bad but it's very exciting to see what changes because maybe now we do get announcements that are a little bit further out um and i don't know what other change could come but there you know it it seems like i don't th i don't think there's there's going to be anything drastic or or extreme right i, I think it'll kind of just like coast along to being the same with maybe maybe communi maybe communication with the consumers could be uh, the the major thing that does change. 
as far as like on the business side, because like I said, on the consumer side, I think like I've been very satisfied and he's, you know, done a, a great job. Even if you don't want to give Jim Ryan like credit for the games that all the games that have released uh, under him and you want to give Sean Layden credit credit for that. I'm fine with that, too. The fact that the fact of the matter is he kept he just kept the business going. If all he did was keep what Jim Ro- keep what Sean Lade- Layden started and kept that going. I'm happy with that because what Sean Layden did was great. So why not just continue that path? So and as far as like on the business side, um, Sony, you know, record profit profits, re- record revenue, you know, PlayStation selling more than ever. The the business is very happy because of because of their sales and how much they've been selling. So on the business side, you can't be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're happy with the job he did also. So that's that's how I look at it. I think he did a good job. But like I said, I'm exciting. I'm excited to see what happens moving forward and who they appoint to be, uh, you know, to have the permanent title because Hiroki Totoki is only going to be the interim, it seems, until they find somebody to hold the position uh, permanently. So yeah, those are really all my, all my thoughts on it. Um, but I need to push this video to like, I'm at like six minutes and 30 seconds. I need to push this video to like eight minutes just, just so I can get that, you know, extra monetization. Ain't no shame in my game. Y'all know I keep it real. Um, you know, I like to squeeze every little, you know, thing I can get out of my videos. Uh, what else is there to say to kill time, to kill a minute? I'm sure Jack is happy and, you know, uh, it became, you know, some other people are very, very happy about this who, you know, for whatever their reasons are, don't like Jim Ryan. Um, so they're, they're celebrating. But like I said, I don't I don't really think from CEO to CEO, I don't think there's going to be any extreme change because even from Sean Layden to Jim Ryan, there's there wasn't like this extreme change, in, in my opinion, outside of like communi- communication, the games still uh, the quality of games still remain the same. And like people have like a similar hate for Herman Hulse. Well, that might, that might be just like a few people, but like Herman Hulse, I think he's done a fantastic job as well. Like his, his job, you know, his job is to make sure the quality, uh, stays up to par. Um, and he's done that after, you know, being in his position after Shuhei Yoshida, um, you could always determine, you know, the person, the person in his role, head of, uh, the studios if they're doing a good job just depending on the quality of the games and the qualities had the quality hasn't dipped it's stayed the same gotten better um with like maybe the exception of something something like returnal release releasing with bugs and stuff like that but um yeah that's it uh i hit eight minutes so i'm gonna go go ahead and get out of here uh hit the like button follow me on twitter hit the notification bell so you can know anytime i live stream or upload a video And I will catch y'all on the next one. We're going to talk about this on Weapon Wheel, of course. I'm out of here. Peace.